What's up guys, this is Captain Ross here, and I am here with the rabbits of fish keeping, the convict cichlids. These guys breed and breed and breed until they can't breed anymore, but that's impossible, so they keep breeding still. Convicts are hated by a lot of fish keepers. Like, they're beautiful and all, but a lot of people just will not keep them. And with good reason, because they will breed and breed and breed and make a big mess of everything. And they can't really be kept with any other fish because they'll beat them up if they get near the babies. They're very, very protective of their babies. I've had some people say they will eat them, but for me, they will not eat them at all. They are letting the babies pretty much nip on their fins. And I'm not exactly sure how to stop this. As you can see, they're kind of nipping. I've been feeding the babies a lot, but they just continue to do this. The parents seem to be fine. They're really lazy. They just kind of lay around sometimes, let them nip. Uh, the dad kind of acts like he's drunk a lot, as you can see. And he is kind of having some problems with his scales. But other than that, they're doing great besides the nipping. And I have these because I've been breeding them to sell to a local fish keeper who's really getting into the fish keeping. He's going to keep natives and he's getting a 55 from Fort Wayne Fish Tanks if he decides to sell it. And he's going to, he's keeping a green sunfish right now, getting a big tank eventually for it. And I've been feeding, I've been selling him feeders, which are these little convicts, for his green sunfish. So it's been going really well. I've been making a little bit of profit off of it because they breed all the time and it, I can sell them all the time too. So if any of you guys are looking for feeder fish at a really cheap price and you live around Fort Wayne, I can definitely sell you some because I'm having a hard time getting rid of all of them. Because I've got like 15 here and I've gotten rid of like half of them. So they just... They're everywhere, hide in the rocks and all over the place. I'm waiting for them to breed some more so I can get the smaller ones in there so I can feed some to my fish. But I'm, a, I'm okay with how many fish are in here right now, I guess. If you guys know what this is when the male just like swims around like that, I think he's trying to avoid the babies nipping him. And I'm not exactly sure how to stop the babies from doing this so if you guys could help me with that that would be awesome the female is very pretty dark black stripes I've got lucky bamboo growing out the top and philodendron I think they are growing all the way down the side so this is my old goldfish tank until it was warm enough to put the goldfish in the pond and now it is convex just a 27 gallon bow front, but hopefully I'll get those convicts, the little ones, out before they get too big. If push comes to shove, I can always use them as bait or feed them to the fish in the pond. Okay guys, well, thanks. Sorry I'm dragging it on, I'm really tired today. And I will see you all in the next video. Make sure you let me know what I can do about this nipping. Because it's really getting on my nerves. As you can see, they just won't stop. Okay, well thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Adios.